The WordPress HTML text editor gives us a full range of HTML text editing capability. You can insert any kind of HTML you would like in here. It's everything besides PHP scripts. So this is really designed strictly for HTML and you can also do inline CSS. It also has preloaded buttons for us to click on. These preloaded buttons allow us the capability of quickly inserting different types of text. For example, if we would like to insert bold text, we would simply click on the B and we type it in here. Then we click on the slash B and it closes the tag. If we would like to have italicized text, we click on the I and we simply click on it again to close a tag. If we want to include an HTML link, we simply click on the link button and it gives us a modal pop-up allowing us to insert the URL and the link text. I'm going to go ahead and put Google in here and the link text will say Google. And it automatically inserts a code for us. To insert text that has strike through characteristics, you click on the DEL icon right here. This also gives us a timestamp. Now we can insert our text. Remember to close your tag. After you've already published your post, and if you want to modify your text, you can insert additional text by clicking the INS button here. This gives us a timestamp again and allows us to modify text as needed. And remember to close your tag. If we'd like to add an image, we click on the IMG icon and it prompts us to give us a URL for that image. To insert a list, we have three options. We have an unordered list, an ordered list, and a standard list. An unordered list will not have, a, have an icon next to it, so it won't have a bullet point. Remember to close your tag. An ordered list will have a number next to it. And also, remember to close your tag. And a list item will have a bullet point next to it. And also, remember to close your tag. To add a code item into your WordPress HTML editor, you click on the code block right there. Now you can enter your code. Remember to close your tag. We're going to skip the more tag for now and we'll describe it in more detail at a later point. WordPress also allows us to close all open tags if there are any open tags remaining. Since we don't have any open tags, there's nothing to close. That concludes the WordPress HTML editor portion of this tutorial. The block quote allows us to insert a quote from, a, from an alternative source. So if we have an article that we would like to reference, perhaps just a piece of it, we can go ahead and block quote it. Quote of article. And remember to close your tag see what all of this looks like in the preview panel. We're going to go ahead and preview the changes and see what all this content actually looks like. Here's all of the items that we inserted with the code editor. Notice it's all here.